Hello everyone, this is Human Hard Drive, and today on our AVRC tutorials, instead of... Well, I'm going to move away today from the electronics and programming for two reasons. One, I got a question from Mr. Horsdale about bit shifting, so I thought we'd cover that today because it is a crucial part to dealing with registers and bits and learning where to push things. And the second being that the more videos I do in this area, the harder it becomes to find the next topic I need to cover to make it fit together in a contiguous fashion. So if you have any questions, please just put them in the comments. Thank you, Mr. Horsdale, for yours. But with that, uh, let's just get started with bit shifting. Now, bit shifting is the idea that if you take a byte of data, any byte will do, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I learned to count. And you shift the bits in either a left or right direction. So you uh, let's say we shift left. S H L. That's shift left. And in C, the symbol for that is two left pointing arrows, and then some number. So three. So we're going to shift left three bits. So what that means is that starting every bit is going to be shifted down three positions. So this will get moved one, two, three, but that's outside the byte. So because this this is shifting without carry, so no carry, you can shift with carry, which we'll cover, which I'll move on to next. But in C, you don't really do that. So. If we were to shift this left, this gets moved three. This is the last bit that will be pushed out. Everything coming up to this is already going to be pushed out. So the only thing that really survives, sorry about that. Ooh. The only thing that really survives is this sequence of bits. So that all gets pushed down three positions to the left. So one, zero, one, one, one. And then the remaining spaces just get filled with zeros. Now if we were to take that same bit, zero, oops, wrong color, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, 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 three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we were to shift that left again, again, same symbol, three bits, but we were to do this with carry, and again, you don't really do this in C, I actually don't know the symbol for that because I've never shifted with carry and C. But if we were to shift left with carry, these bits that got pushed out of the byte last time get pushed to the front, and these bits just get moved up. So you're left, like last time, with 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. But starting from the first bit that gets pushed that's going to get stuck to the front so zero the next bit zero and then the last bit to get pushed one so that's shifting with carry and it's the same basic idea with shift right so shift right just arrows now pointing to the right and we'll shift this right three bits without carry And again, it's, this time, it's instead of looking from the right side, you're going to look to the left side. So these all get shifted to the right three. So one, two, three, out of the bit. One, two, three, out of the byte. One, two, three, out of the byte. So again, these are the ones that survive, and these all get pushed out. So you're left with... 0, 0, 0 to fill the space, and then 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So these all got shifted this way, and the spaces got filled by zeros. And if we were to take, again, that same bit, byte of data, don't know why I get to keep saying that, and we were to shift that right three bits, but this time with carry, these bits again are moved 
and these bits get relocated. So, these guys get pushed all the way back to the front. So that's one, one, one. And then these guys all got pushed up. So, one, one, zero. And that's shifting left and right with and without carry. Again, I've never used shifting with carry in C. It's not a big thing you deal with, but it's still good to know how to use because it's going to come up if you ever do logic math. Now, part of Mr. Horsetail's question comes from, since we're doing AVRC, we're concerned about registers. So let's say we were to take the port, the port B register. Now, if you remember, the port B register sets the state of the pins on port B, so it can either be on or off. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, this being uh, port B7, and this being port B zero and all the numbers in between. So normally if you wanted to turn on um, a byte, if you wanted to turn on a specific pin in the port, you'd have to know where it lies. So you'd have to say, well let's just keep reusing the byte we've been using. Okay, oh, you know I'm going to use a different color so that you can tell the difference between those two. There we go. That's better. Okay. So you take that, and you could either convert that to hex, and leave it in, and say port B equals whatever that is in hex. So that's screw. I'm just gonna leave it in binary because it's a lot. I can't do that off the top of my head. I need a, a couple, not a couple minutes, a couple seconds. So B denotes binary. It's great. I'm going to try and figure it out. That's 1, 3, 7, it's 23, so 55. So, or you could say equals 55. I don't know what that is in hex. So that's how you do it. So you'd have to remember what each bit is and then plug it in. The nice thing about AVRC is, let's see if I can do this. If I copy this. I can copy it and paste it in the next slide. They give you a very nice tool to work around this. You can say port B equals, and if you want to turn, if you wanted to turn each one on, you can actually say zero, shift left. So starting from the right hand side shift left dot 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 it's always counting from 0 to 7 you can say shift left port b 7 so you can you don't have to remember you don't have to do the entire byte conversion into hex or decimal you can leave it like this and then you can say or 0 shift left into port B6 or one shift left into port B5 or you know, dot 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 so it gives you this tool so that what this means this port B7 this port B6 this port B5 it's letting it's 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 the number being shifted in from the left if you were to say shift right port B7, it would shift it all the way down here. But again, count from zero into port B7. So this makes it a lot easier. And if you read the data sheet, every register, so port B is going to be different than DDRB, so it'll be DDRB1, DDRB2, DDRB3, or if you're using the watchdog register, you don't you can actually say watchdog interrupt enable, watchdog flag reset, and it'll let you write specific bits using shift and this or is saying if you remember from 
the logic tutorials and things we talked about last week, I can put uh, links to those down here, the OR preserves it and the AND will destroy it. So that's, yeah, I hope that answers your question, Mr. Horsetail. All, it's, all this is, is it's a shorthand to write bits into the register so that you don't actually have to do out this whole binary conversion. Makes it a lot quicker. So I think that's it for this uh, AVRC tutorial. Again, follow Mr. Horsetail's, um, follow his something. That's what I'm looking for. Follow his guide. There we go. Send me questions, because I'm all about answering your questions. That's why I'm doing these tutorials. Um, so next week, I hope to have found a subject to move on to. But I think this was really useful for future videos, and I think I'll start using the um, bit specifications for future registers. So this has been Human Hard Drive. Thanks for watching.